Chopinos offers Zmarmi Italian charm. Somebody help me out to Zmarmi, what does it mean? Arrogant, dumb, stupid, bubble-headed, moronic, blind, and clumsy are all adjectives that are applicable to the staff here, yet somehow fail to adequately convey the overwhelming, gut-churning horror of the Mendita Cafe experience. Did somebody from Shambar write this? Like, oh my God. If you've never eaten real Indian food, but want to say that you have to sound cultured, this is the place for you. They completely whitewashed it, just like me. Completely whitewashed right here, okay? As if real Indian food is not good enough for them. I actually dyed my hair black. I'm, I'm a white person and I'm a blonde. And I cook the food, Drishti. I mean, it's not like we didn't finish it but there was absolutely nothing special about it. Perhaps two stars is a bit unfair based on one visit, but this is Yelp after all. Much ado about nothing. I think they took the French concept a little too far, bringing the pomposity with it. Aww. We went for dine out and felt like we were at dine out. <laughs> Six dollar tacos, and you need at least three if you're a typical male that would like to chase your date after the meal. You get the drift. <laughs> Might as well have given my money to the beggars outside. At least I know they would have been smart enough not to come in here. Well, I don't know about that. They come in quite often, so. <laughs> if you can't stand Pino's arrogance, the food is pretty good. What a prick. This whole celeb chef thing is really getting on my nerves. Being the proverbial hot chick should not be an excuse for bad behavior. The wife had a waffle. It's not in the top 50% of her waffle experiences. Anonymous. Cutlery was a bit run of the mill. I was kind of hoping to be able to order some kind of guinea pig, although that was probably unrealistic. <laughs> I've had better Indian food made by Mennonites. The pork belly is the only thing keeping me from staring, from one staring this fool. Oh, one starring. Right. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, they tried. I've had a better steak at Red Lobster. And I guess that must be your point of reference then. That ghost of Christmas future, she wasn't a ghost. She was actually real. You never knew her name, but she did make your iPhone when she was five years old. What the hell? After hearing a few positive reviews from friends and co-workers, I went against, went against my better judgment. Why would you even come if it's against your better fucking judgment, seriously? So use your judgment, stay the fuck at home, microwave a TV dinner, and you'll be happy. So I went against my better judgment and decided to give this place a try. As far as I could see, everyone in the restaurant were skinny, tall, wore tight pants, and pretty much had the same haircut. All hipsters. I'm not kidding. Wow. Okay, well, um, I have no hair. I guess Chef Hawksworth doesn't read Yelp, LOL. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Did you have to dictate to Robert Belcham today? Because he can't read, eh? <laughs> Is that on? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just starting, man. 